How y'all doing? Dan Lamb Pro here. I told you I was going to do a tutorial on how to set your show up in Telestream Wirecast. So we're not going to talk a lot. We're going to get right to it. So let's get started. So here we are in Wirecast. Now, if you notice, we got five tiers in Wirecast. One, two, three, four, five. However you want to count. You can count down. One, two, three, four, five. But if you know anything about layers and things like that, then you know down here is where the bottom layer is always behind everything. So this top layer, everything falls up under it. So if I were to just let's let's give give our layer a darkness right off the top. So this is usually the layer where you put your brand or your logo. So that's my top layer. So anything that falls under there, I'll be able to use or it will fall on the video, it, the background, anything that's actually being played. So we want that layer on the top. So let's get that back our visuals. So our brand is on the top. Now, the second layer is usually where we might put a graphic or a set of graphics. So just say I want to have three graphics that I want to talk about. So I want to go and get those graphics so that you can see those graphics. So we're just going to grab anything from anywhere. So usually in Wirecast, when you're using stock video, you can go to stock media library. I can find anything I want. So I can just say, uh, we're not even going to say nothing. We're just going to let them give us their default uh, graphics. So I just go grab this graphic right here. And now you see that graphics is there. And usually you might do a little tweaking or something to get it to take up the whole background. Let's do another graphic. Same thing. We're going to let the defaults pick the graphic for us. So we don't have to do a whole lot of looking up or looking around. So let's just grab something like this right here. And we're going to probably grab one more so we can show you how these particular graphics operate on this particular tier. So let's go and get one more. We'll get one more default. And that's coming from our stock library or Wirecast stock library, which they offer depending on what plan you have. And then we're going to blow that up. So you can use video or anything on this particular level if you're using it as a graphic or a talking point. So now that I have that taken care of, uh, I got my video on my third level and I got my background for my video on my fourth level and I got my uh, audio on the last bottom level. So if you notice, if I go over here, you see I got my audio, my, my Blackmagic wireless mic along with my background music. So they both are always on. So it's so many different ways to do it, but this is the basic layer and the basic way that we set up our shots in a video. So now, if I wanted you to see my video, all I have to do is click my video, click this particular one off, and then hit this live button. So I don't even have to do that a lot of times. So if I'm like here, and I want to show one of these graphics, say I'm talking about this particular graphic, then all I got to hit is that. When I want to take it off, I go back over here to the clear layer, and then I go back live, and that is the convenience of having these graphics on this second layer because it's easier to control that way. Now, it's other ways to shift this around, but these are the most basic ways. Same thing if you didn't want your titles on your particular graphic while you was talking, you can have it just your graphics. So either graphic that you pick or you want to talk about, you can talk about. And then if I wanted my lower thirds on all of my graphics, there it is. So it's just as simple as being able to control everything. Same with the background. If I want to change this background, which you usually don't if you got a static image, maybe you have some video in the background and you want them to shift or operate and take turns operating, depending on what your show is about. That's how you would do it. So this is a pretty simple way to set up your shots as far as doing a basic show that can run smooth while you're directing it through your mouse clicks 
Now, if you notice right here, this is where I can change how I use my transitions from one screen to another. So I usually make sure I hit both so I can get the uh, effect that I want. So now when I hit that, you see it flipped over according to the transition that I picked. So it's the same thing when I want to go back to. So if you want to use, uh, you, you can use any type of transition. So we're going to use a flyover, which is really the one I was trying to get. So you see how it flies over, and then when I want to remove it, it's going to fly right back. So you get a list of transitions here in uh, Wirecast, Telestream, cut all the way down. You can use any of these. And then sometimes you want to make sure right here overall, because sometimes you might not see your transition take place, so you can go in there and get it as well. So these are just things that you can do. So you know this is our preview window, and this is our live window. So when I click here, you see I'm previewing what I'm about to take live. So once I hit this live button, there it is. You see? So it doesn't really matter what you do in here. And these are the way I set up my shots. So if I want to create a new shot, I would hit this plus button. So that's a whole nother tutorial. And this is pretty much how I set up a basic show in Telestream Wirecast. How to set up a shot. Till next time, I'm Dan Land Pro. Peace.